Hi, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious stuffed acorn squash. We're going to stuff it with a vegetable rice mixture and you can use it as a side dish or convert it into a meatless main dish. Alright, I have my acorn squash that I've washed. I've sliced it from end to end and I'm removing the seeds with a spoon. In the meantime, my oven has been preheated to 400 degrees because we're going to roast this squash before we use it in our dish. All right, the seeds are easily removed. Now what we're going to do is take just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and coat the inside and the outside with just a little bit of that oil. It doesn't take a whole lot. And then I'm going to put it in that 400 degree oven and let it roast until it's fork tender. I'm putting them on a parchment paper lined baking sheet. I like the parchment paper. You could just use, uh, just oil your sheet if you want to. But to me, when I had my bakery, I learned to love parchment paper. It just makes things a lot easier to clean up and keeps your pan looking nicer too. And it's easier to get things off that way. Okay, this is ready to go. I'll be back when it's fork tender. All right, my squash has roasted for right at 30 minutes. It is fork tender. I turned half over here so you could see it. I'm just gonna let it rest for a minute. But in the meantime, I'm gonna take about half a tablespoon of butter and I'm gonna melt it and I'm gonna drizzle it over these two halves and just kind of let that soak in. Here's my melted butter. I'm just going to let that, not a lot, just about a half a tablespoon. I'm just dividing it between the two halves. That will help to give a little extra flavor to this squash. Now that the squash is made, we're going to make the stuffing. And I like to start with my cast iron skillet. You can use any skillet you want. It is heating up. I like to preheat it first. And then I'm going to add, oh, one tablespoon, maybe two, no more than two, about, about one tablespoon of uh, extra virgin olive oil. Let that warm up just a little bit. Swirl it around, make sure it's all over. And now I'm going to add two cloves of roughly chopped garlic. One third cup of chopped yellow onion. One half cup of shredded carrots. I'm going to saute these until these vegetables start to get translucent. If, if the pan gets a little dry and they need moisture, I'm going to add just a tablespoon or two of water to help these carrots out. And I'll be right back when the carrots are softer. All right, my carrots have softened up with the help of just a little bit of water. Now, I have a secret ingredient here. One tablespoon of sweetened dried cranberries. This is going to add a little bit of sweetness to this dish. A little sweet is good with the acorn squash. Now we have one cup of rinsed and drained kidney beans. These are optional. If you want this to be a side dish, you can leave the kidney beans out. I'm going to transform it into a main dish by adding the kidney beans to it. I'm going to season it at this point with a little bit of salt and pepper. A little sea salt here. Basically all I want to do is just allow all this to warm up. Now I have one tablespoon of sliced almonds and I have a good handful of fresh spinach leaves and all I want to do is just allow 
things to warm up in the spinach to wilt a little bit. It really doesn't take very long. Be right back when it is. All right, you can see that my spinach is now wilted and now I'm gonna add one cup of cooked brown rice and just stir this together. I'm actually gonna turn the stove off now and I just wanna stir this together. And this is the mixture that I'm gonna scoop inside that squash. And then we'll put the squash back in the oven at 350 for oh, 15, 20 minutes or so until everything is totally warmed up. And there we have it. And I have the squash stuffed and you can see what they look like. There's a good bit of the filling left where you can use it to stuff more squash with. You can save it for another meal. You can have it as additional side dish or main dish as well. It wouldn't make as much if you didn't add the beans to it. So this would be excellent even without the beans as a side dish with chicken, beef, whatever you like. Fish even would be good. Um, so it, it makes an excellent dish either way you go and very pretty. And here we have some beautiful stuffed acorn squash. And you can use this again as a side dish or a main dish. Without the beans in there, it would have made less. And it might still be enough to stuff another whole squash, two halves, uh, yet. Uh, if you like this recipe, let me know in the comments below. Check out my website, handmadeiniowa.com. Look for the recipes page, and you'll see a lot of spin-off pages from there. Also check out my new blog, judyklee.com. That's J-U-D-I-K-L-E-E.com. -E -E See you again.